Okay, we got some fun 6BYs in here. So let's take a look at what's going on. Let's make sure our through holes are on. Looks like that one's on. I heard that turn on, so that means main power for this is on. Let's take a look on this one. Engine pickup is on. Okay, let's see what it says. So it's trying to shift and it's not. Okay, so that's straight up and down. Plenty of water, plenty of water. Let me throw this in reverse. That's odd. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch actuators and see if port will make starboard work and starboard will make port work. Let us see what is going on here. Okay, so I got both to shift. So our fuses are kind of junk and that's what's causing us to not shift. So I reinserted the fuses and everything is working a-okay. I heard both engines shift, so let's verify again. Red on this side. And get some new, much better contact clips. Okay, so we're gonna do some testing and make sure we've got a good clean 12 volts going to our shifter. We're getting 13.7, so we've got good power there. So once we've verified our issue, we just gotta take care of it. Not great crimpers, but it's all I've got because I flew here, so I don't have all my tools that I normally do. There's crimp two. So here is number two. Both feel good. Time for some heat. This one is way more stretched out than the other one, so that may be where the problem came from is the stretching of these wires. And now we don't have the charger hooked up, so the voltage will be lower. But 1281 is good. It's really good voltage. And now I see why they did it like this. There was no other way to get this here. So unfortunately, the one that's upside down, I hate that. That's how it's going to have to be for this. Exactly the way it was. I'll see if when we do this, I can aim it a little bit better. And then we'll be good. So now we just need some fuses. We need two 15 amp fuses. 
thinking we'll just have to zip tie this out of the way because there's no extra cables in here. So if they give me some zip ties, we'll get his zip ties all right done. So here we kind of got it now. We got our new ones in. We've zip tied this down. Now I know this doesn't look pretty, of course. This boat is kind of, as you can kind of tell, it's it's got a lot of wiring issues. I mean, there's a battery switch here that I don't even know what it goes to. But the issue that I think was happening was that this was moving around too much. Now it's much more secure and tight, but it would fling all over the place and it would pull on the cables and damage the, the fuses. Now, I know that a fuse being upside down is not the best idea because they have these rubber garments for sealing. They're better sealing when they're the other way around. The issue is, um, there's no extra pieces here. I will ask the guy if there's another screw so that I can screw it down to what looks like two more screw holes right there. And if that's the case, then that will prevent water from entering these and I think his shifting issues will be done. So I got another screw. I'm much happier with how these are set up and there's slack in both lines. So now there's not gonna be any tension on these 12 volt power leads. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed our little diagnostic that we did on this boat. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you again on our next episode. Here's a little preview. Oh yeah! Careful! Look who's moving finally! It's either gonna blow up or be fine. One of the two. Now it says check engine. It it just died.